Miracle Mondays Yoga with Hannah. This week it's to help you recover from um, hip workouts, so if you've been tuning into our Fit Fridays, then this is going to help release all of the tension in and around the joints and the muscles. So we're going to work from the neck all the way down to our toes. So just come up to seating on the mat to start with. We'll just start with a couple of mindful breaths. So if you're at home in half term, thanks so much for joining in with us. Hopefully you've got a little bit more time to look after your body this week. So take a big deep breath in and a nice slow breath out. A big deep breath in and a lovely slow breath out. Try and relax into your mat but be mindful that we're engaging the muscles to sit up nice and tall. And this last time we're going to just lift our arms up with a breath and breathe out to heart centre. From here we're just going to pop our hands down to the side and we're just going to, on the inhale, put our right ear, right, right ear to our right shoulder. And then we're going to grab with our left hand, grab our left shoulder and you might feel a bit of tension in here from press ups or burpees. And we're just going to hold that in there. Gently just bring the neck back to the middle. We're going to go left ear to left shoulder. And you might find that you're a bit tighter on one side. Again, that's perfectly normal. We're just going to grab the right shoulder with the right hand. Keeping the, the spine nice and long to so make sure that we're nice and tall sitting upright. And then gently bring the neck back to centre. We just need to be really careful with our neck, looking after ourselves. Obviously, it's super important. We're just going to inhale, look up. And you might have tension in your jaw, so just really try and stretch that out. A couple of breaths in there. Exhale to centre. And then we're just going to look down. And then place our hands on the back of our head. And we're just going to almost pull against our head, uh, pull, press our head into the back of our hands, sorry. So really press our head in the back of our hands and on the exhale, just try and get a bit of a deeper stretch. And then slowly release back the center. Okay. For next stretch, we're going to stretch the backs of our arms. So we're just going to lift our right hand up, pop it behind our head, and then use the left arm to increase that stretch. So push the back of your head into your arm and really try and get a deep stretch in there. If you want to challenge yourself, you can take this hand behind your back and try and grab it. And then release that arm down. Bring this arm in front of you and then just pull the right arm in with the left arm. Again, you might feel tightness in the shoulders from lots of press ups, burpees. And you almost want to pull in with the left arm as you're pressing away with the right on the inhale. And then on the exhale, try and get a bit of a deeper stretch. So we'll go exactly the same on the left arm. Big reach up, hand behind the head and use the right arm just to stretch in there. So pressing the head into the back of the arm. You might find that one's a bit tighter than the other. And you should feel this stretch all down in the side of here and into the tricep. And try to keep your spine nice and long so you're not like this. Keep your spine nice and long, press the head into the hands. So lift the left arm in front of you, grab it with the right and pull it across the body. Again, on the inhale, press into this arm and the exhale, release. Again, inhale, press in and exhale, release. Arms down by the side, just going to stretch up the side of the body here. So right hand on the floor, big reach up, reach up and lean across. So you're trying to keep um, your hips and your bum cheeks on the floor, lift the heart up to the ceiling, 
Keep these fingers engaged. Look, I'm nice and strong through my fingers as I reach. And then we're going to slowly walk the hands back to centre. Pop the left arm down. Big reach up with the right hand and lean over. Again, lifting the heart up to centre, to the ceiling, sorry. And should feel a lovely release all the way through the side body, all into the hips. Okay, we're going to come onto kneeling on our mat now. So we're going to tabletop position, step the hands forward a tiny little bit, and then we're just going to sit back into extended child's pose. So press the hands into the mat, Try and get as close to the mat as you can and sit all the way back into your hips. You might put your legs a little bit wider if you need to and enjoy that full body stretch. This is one of my favourite stretches and I often do this before bed and it definitely helps me sleep. Then we're going to slowly rise up out of that into the front of our mat, slowly lower the body onto the floor arms underneath armpits and we're going to come into cobra so inhale lift the chest keep the elbows bent you might um, face the elbow crease towards um, facing forward and a lovely stretch in through the, the core of the body so if you've been doing a lot of core work it's a fantastic stretch exhale release try and move the hands slightly back exhale exhale lift so pressing squeezing through the, the glutes Pressing the thighs into the mat and stretching out the core. Breathing into that core, trying to release the tension in there. Then from here, we're going to bend the knees, send the hips all the way back again into extended um, child's pose. And you might find that it stretches a bit deeper in the shoulders and the armpits and the chest this time. I'm going to slowly walk my hands to the left, stretch through the side body again. And then slowly walking my hands to the right. Walk my hands back to the centre. And then I'm going to come back up onto kneeling on all fours. Okay, from here, I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to thread it underneath my body. And then I'm going to take my left hand and reach up to the sky. So lovely little thoracic spine opener. Lifting my fingers all the way to the ceiling. I'm going to slowly pop that left hand back. And then on the inhale, I'm going to reach my right arm all the way, way back up. And then I'm going to exhale, pop that hand back down. I'm going to do the same on this hand. So I'm going to reach this left hand under, threading the needle underneath. Once I feel a stretch in my shoulder, I'm going to open up through the right hand side. Slowly pop that hand back down, inhale lift and open the spine reaching the left hand up to the sky slowly pop that back i'm going to go from here i'm going to inhale and come into a lovely happy cat or cow pose whatever you want to call it nice arch in the back sticking the bum in the air exhale press myself away from the mat a nice curve in the spine Inhale, bring the chest through. Exhale. Press away. One more time. Inhale, bring the chest through. Imagine you're pulling the, the mat with your hands towards your knees. And then press away. In here. Okay, then from here, 
gonna take our um, hands forward a tiny little bit and we're gonna press our feet into the mat and then we're gonna come into a downward dog position. So keep the hips nice and high. What we'll do is we'll just turn the mat around for this part. So from here, press into the mat, send the hips away, keep the spine nice and long, come onto your toes and feel free just to walk out that dog, so walking, opening the calves and we want to press into the mat, keeping the spine nice and long, just taking your time to get into this pose. Gonna take a big inhale in here and exhale. Gonna set the right foot inside slightly, and then we're gonna lift the left leg, squeezing the glutes, engage with the glutes, lift it and hold it there just for a second. We're developing a little bit of strength in there, and then we're gonna bring that through left foot to left hand. High lunge, bring the chest through. And then enjoy this nice deep hip stretch in here. We're then going to pop that knee to the floor and walk this left foot back slightly. Then from here, we're going to lift this, lift, big inhale, lift arms up and exhale, lean over. Back to the centre. This time, exhale, press the palms together. Inhale, sorry. And exhale, stretch into that hip. Then we're going to come into a lovely hamstring stretch. It's one of my favourite stretches as well, really specific. Pressing the heel into the floor. And you're gonna, I'm going to windscreen wipe my foot there. That just releases some of these tendons that go into the back of my knee. Exhale, reach. And then I'm gonna bend my knee, come back forward into this position again, press my hands on the mat. I'm gonna step back and then I'm just gonna active calf stretch as I pump these calves. If you've been doing lots of burpees, high knees, running, sprinting, then the calves and the Achilles are going to have been working. I'm going to just hold the left one. Walk it out. And then hold the right one. Really trying to pull my heel away from my leg, pressing into the toes. And then from here I'm going to come into a plank position, squeeze my glutes, drop the belly to the mat, come into cobra, back into extended child's pose. Back up onto the mat, press into the toes and then come back into another lovely downward dog. You might want to uh, point the toes in slightly on the mat. Again, come onto the toes. This is your own time in downward dog. It's a fantastic pose. Stretching out the spine, stretching out the hips, pulling the hips as far away as you can from the body, feeling a really deep stretch all the way through the hamstrings, the backs of the legs, the hips, the spine. Take the left foot in slightly and then lift the right foot up, squeeze through the, the glutes on the back of the leg, Hold that there for a moment. Feel that intense stretch in the right, in the left leg, sorry. And then bring this right leg all the way through to high lunge. Bring the chest through. Fantastic stretch again, all through the hip crease. And just developing a little bit of strength in there as well with that hold. Drop the left knee down and walk this right foot back a little bit and coming into a hip flexor stretch. 
So from here again, going to lift the arms up, inhale, and lean. Back to centre. This time, lift the arms up, press the palms together. And a deep stretch in that hip flexor. Come out of that into straight into a hamstring stretch. So pressing the heel into the mat, pulling the hip away from the body, getting a really fantastic deep stretch. Again, windscreen wipe of the foot, just takes care of the back of the knees, the top of the calf, and fold. Back up into here, step back again, stretching the calves actively. And then from here, step the feet back a little bit, come forward into a nice strong plank position, slowly lower the top of the mat, inhale to cobra, and exhale to extend in child's pose once more. This time we're going to drop our arms all the way behind us into this child's pose. Just allow ourselves to go super heavy on the mat. We've been pressing into our shoulders a little bit before there. So we're just going to have a big inhale in here. And exhale. From here we're going to rise up onto our mat and we're just going to enjoy a bit of a kneeling quad stretch. So in here, if this is too painful for you then you might want to pop a pillow or a block underneath your bum and you can kind of massage into the hip crease there. And what we're going to do is just going to rock slightly back onto our ankles. The feel a stretch there at the tops of the shins, the tops of the feet. And then a camel variation where we're going to put our hands behind us, squeeze through the glutes and stretch out the front of the body. Okay, from here, we're just going to finish sitting on our mat. Press the feet together. Bring the feet in as close as they'll come. And we're just going to, a little groin stretch, a little butterfly groin stretch. Press your knees into your elbows on the inhale and exhale. Try and get a little bit deeper. Last little bit to finish, we're going to pop our right foot on top of our left, sitting up nice and tall, lovely, lovely deep uh, glute stretch. We're going to slowly walk our hands forwards. That's really intense if you've been doing lots of squats, lots of burpees. And really, really find that point of tension and focus on it. And as you inhale, try and pull the hip down into the floor and exhale. Try and get a little bit lower. Breathe through that point of tension. And slowly walk your hands back up don't hold any tension in these areas so if it's feeling super tight and you can't get any lower don't force yourself forward this might even just be enough sitting nice and upright on your mat slowly in your own time walking the hands forward 
Inhale, press your hands into the floor. Exhale, try and get a little bit deeper. Just taking your own breaths here. And just wait till you feel that tension just kind of release. And then slowly walking the hands back to centre and just come into a comfortable position on your mat. Just finish with a couple of breaths. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, back to centre, and just rest your knees, gent your hands gently on your knees, keep the spine nice and tall, and take a lovely long deep breath in, smile, take a nice slow breath out. Another deep breath in, and as you breathe out, just allow any remaining tension just to leave your body and just feel like you're sitting on top of a cloud. And you should feel super light, super proud of yourself for taking that time to look after yourself today. The quote to finish the practice today comes from um, Breast Cancer Now Awareness, as on Friday it was the uh, Breast Cancer Now Wear It Pink Day. And this is about courage. So, courage doesn't always roll. Sometimes, courage is the little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. So, all we can do is give it our best go every day. Don't beat ourselves up for the things we haven't done. And we just try again tomorrow. And make sure you're taking the time to look after your mind and body. Have a fantastic half term, guys. Happy Mindful Monday. Namaste.